Today, we're going to talk about the five skills you need to learn right now. Hey, gang, it's Ron from ITMaskit.com, and my job is to help each and every one of you guys listening to this to help you get certified. So I've been thinking about some of the skills that you guys need right now and moving forward. So this video is just going to be five skills that you need to know for 2022 and beyond. So while you're listening to this clip, to this video, make sure you're taking notes and make sure that you listen all the way to the end so you're better prepared once this video ends to execute. So the skill shortage for in-demand abilities and experience has been building for years. The pandemic definitely accelerated that pretty much worldwide. Around the world, everybody kind of had to stop take a look at what they're doing and say, hey, man, this shit ain't working. I need a better skill set. I got to figure out some other things to do. If you're listening to podcasts like this one, it means that you are on the right track. Because the crazy thing is, even though everybody saw that in a blink of an eye, you can lose your job, your health and all this type of stuff, people are still waiting around, waiting for somebody to come, you know, save them, you know, just waiting for a damn job to literally come up to their house, knock on the door, say, hey, I'm job, you know, come up, come take me. But the good news is we're going to go ahead and go through these five skills that you guys are going to start working towards. So IT is emerging in all areas, whether it's healthcare, whether it's automotive, just every sector that you look in, you have some form of technology. So the first thing that we're going to talk about that I think that you need to look into a skill set that you need to have is some type of knowledge of artificial intelligence. So AI is rapidly transforming the environment of work, which is great for programmers looking for a new or a different challenge. Between like 2019 and 2020, hiring for AI practitioners increased by 32%. AI professionals received the top place on LinkedIn list of popular jobs in 2020. So if you don't know what AI is, AI is pretty much referring to computers built to operate somewhat like humans. So you listen to this podcast, you're learning. You listen to Master IT YouTube channel, you're learning, you're adapting, you're learning how to do things better. That's what AI is. AI adapts and learns over time to do things better. So after a hundred times, it's probably going to do things a hundred times faster as opposed to the first time that it did it. Okay. That's what artificial intelligence is. So a lot of time when AI is brought up, people think about stuff like the damn Terminator or oh, blah, blah, blah. AI can be extremely helpful, extremely helpful. So some of the top artificial intelligence skills can be learning things like C++, or AWS, and Python. So coding in those languages will assist you in the artificial intelligence realm. Now, when we say coding, right, when we say coding, that can be scary, that can be uh, off-putting. I'll even admit myself, I'm not the best coder. So side note, right, side note. So these are skills that, you know, you may need in the future, but believe it or not, you don't need coding to getting to IT. Over 15,000 students that I taught didn't need coding, but it is a skill that I'm working on and it's a skill that you should be working on as well. To be honest, mine is kind of not geared towards landing a job or nothing like that. It's more just geared towards, it's just something that I think I need to be abreast of. And if you're in IT, you kind of need to be a Swiss army knife because right now, I am in teaching mode, getting people like you certified, getting people like you into IT. And eventually, you know, I may want to pivot, maybe completely out of IT. I don't know. Or I may want to pivot into uh, something else. So these are just some of the skills, right? Um, and just doing something different. So number one, not in any order, but the first one that we covered is going to be artificial intelligence. The next thing is something that is super complex and it's really, really hard to understand. But if you do understand this, you will be a force to be reckoned with. So number two is going to be machine 
learning. So machine learning is one of the most inventive and fascinating disciplines to emerge in the future. And it's become one of the most profitable and one of the sectors that is super hard to find talent. 